and I are very close. We have been since we were little, 15 months apart, mom and dad practically had raised triplets. We were just reminiscing with all the other girls the other day. It seemed like every story was the same, no matter who was telling it. As I say, Ashley is a chihuahua, yappy little eight-pointer, always trying to start some trouble, and Brittany, the pit bull. You know, that Portuguese, that Portuguese look you give when when you cross, when someone crossed you. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to back her sister up because family is forever. Brittany, you really make our family so proud each and every day. Now, here we are, all grown up. Let's remember, Brittany, even though I am, I may live miles from here, I'm always just a FaceTime or phone call away. I'm so happy you found your soulmate. You're the cutest high school sweethearts. Jake has been an amazing addition to the family. He is so thoughtful and kind. He always makes the room laugh, no matter the occasion. Jake, you are full of happiness. I am so proud to be able to call you my brother-in-law. While Jake moved down here for his career, and Britt was gathering all her belongings to move with him, no matter the struggles of distance, these two lovebirds were able to figure it out. You are both hardworking, and clearly goal-oriented. Graduated college, career, house, engaged, now looking at you two, are finally married. <laughs> I met you an auntie almost 14 years ago. You've done some great practice with Haley, your child with pause. Yep. Last step is a baby, I'm very happy to have an auntie. I love you both so much. I have one more speech, though. This is a big tough one. You got it. You got it. Come on. Come on. Take a breath. Take a breath. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it.
but he persevered with the help of his charm for a chance to be known on a deeper level. I admire their almost immediate devotion to each other that has helped them through trying times. You don't see high school sweethearts very often in this generation. They remind me of our memory and papa with history and comfort creating a strong foundation. I recognize how affected Jacob was by the distance between them for months after he graduated college, and I appreciate that Brittany waited to make sure that he was certain about settling in Virginia before packing up to be with him. I believe they would be lost without each other now. I love the way they communicate playfully when they're teasing and compassionately when they're deliberate. Even though they tease each other, I believe they truly accept the other person for their whole selves at their core. Jake and Brett have cared for each other when the other needed support, physically and emotionally, some requiring more physical support than others, due to the freedom injury, as your hand. They have grown together through formative years where some may have grown apart. To me, this is an undeniable indicator that they are soulmates. I credit the work that they put into their relationship along with the effortless love that flows through them. I appreciate the way Brittany has fit seamlessly into our family, treating me as a sister for many years. I adore seeing them interact with their beautiful dog, Haley, with their chickens, <laughs> and with the children of their friends and relatives. I can't wait to see them expand their family and have new little people of their own to nurture. Jake and Brent, thank you for inspiring me and giving me hope that love really can conquer anything. My wish for you both now is that you will continue to listen, learn, laugh, and love for this lifetime and many more after. So if everyone would please raise your glass. May you grow old together sharing the same pillow.